guys so we have a new project or restoration project in the workshop it's a lathe um, Turnell and Odell uh, from Wellingborough Northamptonshire UK very old I don't know how old it is um, there's really not much a lot of, or not a lot of information on it apart from the uh, change gear um, plate that was on it I'll show you pictures of that so up there at the moment that is just the lathe bed um, one end of the lead screw and the tail stock so let's move you around and show you a little bit more so down here we have Let's move you back so you've got a better view. So we have the saddle and the apron. Um, I think this was a threading lathe for the way this is set up, specifically just for threading. I mean, it'll do other stuff, but, but it was just so, so dirty. Uh, I've cleaned up some of it some of it needs much much more cleaning up but what what is here seems in reasonable condition you move this away and the ways on there are they're really nice underneath and it was all like this on here just so grimy then you can scrape that off so what's underneath is in pretty good condition. I'm going to wipe that over. And we've got the apron here. It's got the half nuts there. This is for um, rack and pinion for moving the uh, the saddle up and down. But so everything it seems tight. There is a little bit of backlash there, and there's a little bit of backlash in this one. But everything on here is nice and tight filthy but it will get cleaned up and I have been doing a little bit of cleaning up and we'll show you on this side what I've been doing here so this is the headstock that's red oxide at the moment but this was all in the same condition these these were very rusty but it was all just literally surface rust just like a bloom on it but there was a lot of grease and what have you on there so that's that's the back gear that's the pulley what we got I think that's called the bull gear this one which goes on inside of the pulley and they've cleaned up quite nice so this is the, the main spindle not sure if that's a taper in there it could be and if it is I think it's a it could be a three mores taper that or is that mm, could be a two I'm not sure but anyway that's the bearing for the well, that one there. the other end that runs a taper bearing on the other end which I've got to get a replacement of a tapered roller bearing and that sits in this end of the headstock move you a little bit that's better yeah that sits in in this end so the back gear sits in between here you've got um, this piece that actually fits on onto there this piece will sit under there and this is for um, selecting forward and reverse for the um, for the lead screw it goes through but I say all, I've done, done a lot of cleaning up on this so far and polishing bits up and things like that this is the selector 
that actually goes on to yeah, that bit, bolts onto there and selects in those positions and that's come up quite nice. So just bits and pieces. We've got some of the gears, um, some of those just fit on here. But it'll all go back to nice and easy. That's the selector. That was that was all rusty. So that's the selector handle that goes on the end of this spindle. And that's for engaging and disengaging the back gear. Hopefully it should clean up quite nice. But um, this project, I'm, I might show you some um, disassembly. I want to take the uh, pieces apart, uh, like uh, like these bits, like the apron and the saddle. I want to dismantle them. I'll video that, but I won't do any of the clean up bits. That's just gets a bit tedious watching that so I'll perhaps video taking these apart and then we'll do rebuilding it put the unit back together again but all the bits in between we'll give that a miss you all know how to clean stuff up and you've seen me do it before on on the atlas drill when I did that polishing and cleaning up but there's very little information known about this is this is the only one that I can find that exists. There's nothing really on, on the internet. I've looked at several sites that deal with just lathes. Um, no pictures, no descriptions. There's a reference to the company, um, Turnall and, Go and Odell. There's a reference to them making uh, metal working machinery but nothing about this but anyway it should be a fun little project and in the end we hope we can find something to replace the back gears with at least we've got we've got a bit of a start on on what the gear this is the 20 tooth gear which is the smallest one of of them so this gives us an idea of what the gear looks like so hopefully if we ever find any we can match up and and see if if they're meshing all right we know what the other ones are going to be like and it might be nice to try some other lathes something like Myford or Harrison or Boxford lathes just to see what their change gears are like and see if they're interchangeable but it's uh on the tag as you'll see I'll put a picture up it's just for Whitworth a metric thread cutting well it, that's what it says on there but it does pitches so I suppose I don't cut anything as long as we have the right pitch so there's the new project something for us to get on with could be quite an interesting one this never done a lathe like well never done a lathe before so I look forward to doing it and I hope you enjoy it too